Hey, welcome back to Snapbolt Games. My name is Max, and this is Lewin, and we are back with another Popper League, and I am stoked to get into this one. What better league to have Lewin here for than this one, because we're playing this deck called Hot Dogs, and we got a hot dog right here. So before I get into this deck tech and what Hot Dogs is, um, real quick, going to shout out my YouTube channel and then my Twitch channel, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go there and subscribe. It's really the best way to support us. Uh, follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash snapboldgames. You can come hang out live. I record all my videos live on Twitch. And let's get right into this deck tech, and then we're going to get into a league with the deck. So this deck is called Hot Dogs. Um, I actually assume because of Kiln Fiend and Festival Crasher, maybe just because it's like Red Blitz, but uh, <laughs> who knows? We're just a mono red Kiln Fiend deck. And... Uh, this deck has gotten a huge, huge improvement recently in Monastery Swiss Spear. This was a new, newly downshifted uh, card in Double Masters. So now I really like Mono Red Kiln Fiend compared to Is It Blitz because your mana is obviously just so much more consistent. All Mountains, 17 lands, um, so you don't have bad mana. And the problem with Hot Dogs before is that you had to play some bad cards. You didn't have another good threat. Um, but now with Swiss Spear, Crasher is kind of your worst threat, and Kiln Fiend, you have all good cards. Let's go through the deck real quick, and then we'll get into the games. So again, those are the 12 threats, and then you have a card draw spell and Reckless Impulse, and really, Loon's about done, and really what you're trying to do is you're just trying to play three spells in one turn, one of them being Team or Battle Rage on your Kiln Fiend, and then that's how you win. You can obviously get chip damage in with Swiss Spear, and you can play more spells to kill with Crasher, but Spell, Spell, Team or Battle Rage with Kiln Fiend is 20 damage. Um, so that's the basic plan of the deck, but we have Lightning Bolts and Lava Darts as interaction, and uh, <laughs> he's about done. Uh, let's get through the deck, deck quick, and then we'll then we'll get him his tea, his treat. Um, <laughs> we have Protection Spells in Mutagenic and Apostle's Blessing. Uh, Playing Crash Through, uh, I really like Crash Through. A lot of people like Ancestral Anger. I just don't want to Ancestral Anger target my own creature, have them kill it in response, and then me get no value. So I'm resisting playing that card. Um, instead, just playing Bolt and Mutagenic and everything. Um, we have Manamorphose here, just a free spell cycle. Doesn't obviously need, we don't need to fix our mana, but that's the basic deck. Really streamlined deck. Like I said, all good cards now. I really like the deck now. Lavadar is really really uh, a shining star in this deck sideboard just a bunch of affinity hate still just because these cards are really strong helps this matchup out a lot four smash two gorilla shaman and then we have two martyr of ashes three pyroblast two flaring pain and two candidate so loon is about done hey loon you want to go get a treat before we get into the league all right let's go get a treat and then we'll get into the league we'll see everyone in round one All right, welcome to round one. We're against Mr. Slots. We're on the play. It's a little tough to do uh, the deck tech with Luz on my lap there. A little more disjointed than than normal, but I'll take it. This hand is pretty bad. We have no threats. We have lands and spells, but I think I'm just going to mulligan. Because if we don't draw one of our 12 creatures, we literally just do nothing. All right, this doesn't have a creature, but at least it's better because we have Reckless Impulse, Manamorphose, and still have Interaction. I can probably put back Mutagenic or even Mountain, but I'll keep this. It's pretty close between the two, honestly, because if I draw a threat, I'm going to want the Mutagenic. and Maybe I can draw or Reckless Impulse into a land anyway. I could also just put back Manamorphose, but that draws me towards a threat. I think I can just put back Mountain. It's greedy, but... I don't want to draw another land, so I'm going to try try doing it this way. What's up, Tragedy? Is this a mirror? Oh, we just burn. Okay. I'm glad we kept the mutagenic because we can save our potential kill and fiend that we draw from a burn spell and draw a land. So perfect that we put back a land there. Anamorphose, red, red. Ooh, there's a Swiss sphere. So I can Reckless Impulse this turn, or I can go like Swiss Spear Dart You. I think that's what I'm going to do. Reckless Impulse later. Just giving up damage otherwise. They have to point a Burn Spell here. 
I could have also just not played Dart, but I felt like it was worth it. Vern's generally not going to have something that I can Dart unless they have Epicure. Curse the Pure Star. I just don't think this card is that good anymore. It's just pretty slow. Like, what? This game is not going to go for that many turns. It's going to do like be like a two-mana deal three. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm just going to go play Mountain, attack for one, play Kill and Fiend, pass, try to win next turn. If they bolt this, I can Mutagenic it to save it. So they need to have two answers for Kill and Fiend. Feeling pretty good here. A lot of times Burn doesn't have ways to kill Kill and Fiend. And now with this and Reckless Impulse, we're just in a fantastic position to win the game next turn. Thermo Alchemist. Okay, well they can potentially chump. But we could also reckless impulse into a bolt, or we have a lot of out, a lot of outs here. I guess they could have a fire blast. Okay, well we just hit anyway. Let's just start with impulse anyway. Monastery Sphere and Manamorphose. Not going to be able to cast those this turn, but that's okay. Let's just lightning bolt this. So I have 7, 10, this would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's still one point short. But I can just mutagenic my Swift Spear and there's nothing they can do, especially after a Lava Dart. But then they could Fire Blast a Kiln Fiend. I guess they can do that anyway, but if they do that, I'm probably just going to win. So just Dart you. Looks like they're just F6 here. We'll turn four win. Nice. <clears throat> I think for this matchup, we go no sideboard. We have a lot of spells that we have to pay life for, but Mutagenic is actually really, really good in this matchup. It's a key card because they have a lot of removal for our creatures, but being able to save it with Mutagenic is just huge. Because we can all oftentimes just go creature, they go removal spell on it, but we save it that turn, win next turn. So that's the plan. The thing is, Burn does have a lot of removal spells, so we generally have to set up like creature plus protection, and our protection spells cost us life. So it, it, I think it's a close matchup, but... Yeah, if they don't always have the removal spell, you just it's pretty easy just to goldfish them a lot of times. Just no sideboard here. Snap keep. Rift bolt. Not a scary start. I am gonna crash through here. One mana draw a card. Also surprised to see lift lists cutting on the crash throughs. Trample is exactly what you want. Draw a card. It's not like anger where it has to be targeted. So bolt. I'm gonna wait on the kill and fiend here because I could draw a protection spell and I'm I can just bolt this right now. It's just so bad if I go kill and fiend, they go untap, ping you, bolt, kill and fiend, ping again, play another spell, ping again. I just don't need to play Kill and Fiend yet. I can just wait till I draw a protection spell. I started this one pretty quick, so it seems like chat's coming through here. A lot of spike. Three cards in hand. I can also play like one mana morphos here. Try to find a protection spell potentially. Swiss beer. All right. Hmm. Now I can just go Swiss beer and just start metamorphosing and then play a Kiln Fiend. Seems good to me. Could also just play one metamorphose depending on what we draw here. We'll see. 
Another Kiln Fiend. I think I'm fine to save this Manamorphose now for next turn. Like, if they can't kill us next turn, they have to point a burn spell at Kiln Fiend. Then we just play another one. Then they probably can't kill us again because they used a burn spell on Kiln Fiend. Then they have to point a burn spell at this. Then we're just in a pretty good position. So that's why this deck can kind of struggle. Thermo. It's actually not that scary. It's like they're just going to have to chump Kiln Fiend probably. Just going to lead our turn on Manamorphose. I mean, I guess they could just bolt Kiln Fiend. Crash through. Guess I should play Mountain as well. So Morphos. Just start prowess in here. Nice. Could have added green red. That would have been a heads up play. TBR. Okay, so now I can just TBR the Kiln Fiend and then Mutagenic. I'm just wondering if I can TBR the Swiss Spear and Mutagenic it and there's nothing they can do. They're at 18. I have to just do a little math here. My Kiln Fiend does have Trample as well. So what if right now I just go TBR Swiss Spear that's 8 tr Trample plus 10. That's 18 Trample. I think that's enough, and I think it's the play. Because if I have 18 Trample plus Lava Dart plus Mutagenic, I think there's basically nothing they can do at that point, because I can just go TBR my Swiss Spear, Lava Dart U. I can even flashback Lava Dart and still have Mutagenic up. I think that's the safe play. Swissfear makes this deck so much better. This is so much trample. <clears throat> this is 10, 23 trample. So this is lethal right now. I don't need to do anything. Okay. Sweet. Quick round one, as most a lot of a lot of rounds, especially the ones you win, are gonna be real quick with this deck. Let's go round two. Alright, welcome to round two. We're on the draw here. Opponents on the mulligan to six. I'm actually gonna keep this hand. We have multiple good one drops. One of them draws a card and we have one land. Plus we just have a bunch a ton of what we need. Shoe Tech says good luck to you as well. Yeah, I like Apostle's Blessing too. Which really helps protect what we're trying to do. I'll play Arbor Elf. Sentinel, okay. Not quite. Can still bolt it though. Mutagenic. It's actually not bad. I'll just pass, and then they'll probably put a creature on the stack. Looks like it's just elves. I'll just bolt Sentinel in response, most likely. Then untap and dart their free. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Priest of Titania. I think I just bolt this right now. Kick their mana down. It's kind of annoying that they're playing stuff, but this is such a good matchup for this deck. Like, incredibly good. Because we have four dart main, four bolt main. So I can play Sysphere or I can crash through to try to draw a land. Am I fine missing on land drops? I feel like no, I want to just draw a land right now and then I could play Sysphere attack for one. I don't care about the damage. If I miss on lands then I just want to get closer to drawing lands. Nice. Also thought about leaving dart up here, but I can just dart next turn. I guess I probably am playing Kill and Fiend next turn. 
and then killing the next the turn after that. So we have four unknowns. Another Sylvan Ranger. I, I don't like this card that much. I generally don't play it when I play Elves. I just think it's not quite strong enough. Two mana, one, one, draw land. I feel like it's just... I know they have the blue splash and everything. Ooh, that's that's pretty good. But we can dart that. There's really not doing that much here. I guess I attack first. If they like double block, they just get absolutely crushed. Could have metamorphosed first as well, but I think it's better to actually save that for next turn. Lead the stampede, sure. So they have this land in hand too. Okay. Now it's kind of annoying because they're going to get a lot of mana out of this virtual ranger, but there's nothing I can do about it right now. They can start chumping. They can just play a Priest of Titania, I guess. I just kill that. Okay, they Corian. They can use Corian. That's fine. Also, if they just tap all their stuff, they may not have blockers through Lava Darts. So then we might be able to just win that way. Yeah. This is maybe the best matchup for this deck. If they like, have a god draw and go off and you don't have a dart or a bolt, they can get you, but they choose not to play, they choose not to use ranger, not to play priest, and just leave three creatures back. I was actually smart of them. I don't care about paying life, so I'm just going to add red red here. I want to be cognizant of adding red or white mana if I need it, though. Or green or white mana. Bolt. Okay. So now I can just go dart the ranger. And then if they don't untap a creature, I can go bolt, ranger, flashback, dart, mutagenic, kill. I haven't done the math, but I think that's good enough. So this forces them to use an untap and probably to chum. Okay, so now I think we have them. So this is 10. If I go bolt, dart, that's plus 6, 8. It's 18 damage. It's exaxes. No math, no problem. I mean, I did the math, but I did it later. Luckily, I did the math correctly. Nice. Oh, I could have used mutagenic as well. Didn't even didn't even use it. Jeez, this matchup though. This matchup though. <laughs> oh my god. Apostle's blessing surprisingly isn't even that bad because I can just pro green. They can't block. Sick. Um, let's see. So possible cuts are like any of these cards. I think everything else I want. Blessing like just seems worse than crash through. Like, sure they could have some number of hydro blasts. I guess that's a reason to keep in blessing actually. Plus blessing can give pro green. Mutagenic helps me kill faster though. Not sure that matters. Maybe I just cut all the reckless impulses. Like I don't need to grind in this matchup really. I think I'm fine with that. Specifically because they may side in Hydroblast. I can also think about bringing in Pyroblast. I don't know if I need to go that deep. Like, if they just don't draw a distant melody or anything, plus 
Melody's not even that good. I can just kill their creatures with Dart and Bolt. I'm just going to side out Reckless Impulse. I just don't think I need to draw cards. They can't interact that much. I have four Wraths. And I can just kill with like the combo, basically. Don't think I'm supposed to mulligan this again. Triple removal spell. We only have eight in the deck and we have three in our hand. Just going to dart that for sure. Land? Not quite. If we draw a mountain, we just get to play Crasher and then go off with like Morphos, Morphos, Bolt, Bolt the turn after. We don't draw land, I'll just play crash through. Play tutor forest. <laughs> okay. Not getting there on this one lander, but that's okay. We still might be fine in this game. Korean Ranger. They're not really doing anything. All right, that's brutal. I don't even really want to bolt a Corian Ranger right now. What I could do is I could just pass, discard, crash, or end of turn, leave up bolt. Because then if they play any good card, like a Priest of Titania, or a Timber Watch Elf, or a Lissolana, I can just bolt that, rather than bolting this. And I don't need all these Kiln Fiends and Crashers, plus they might just have Hydro up right now, or Prohibit, or something weird. So I'm just going to pass with Bolt up. I just don't think I need two Crashers and a Kiln Fiend, most likely. They have to have like Rapid Vigor or something here, the way they're playing. Rapid Vigor or Prohibit or um, seen Condescend. Could just bolt this now. Could have discarded Crasher again. Didn't really want to do that. Still think this hand was definitely a keep. We have 17 land, we had crash through, and we had bolt, bolt, dart. And we only needed to draw one land. This is cast trigger, then we have two cards left. Okay. Obviously, just gonna bolt that. Could have another hydro. Brutal. Could have done it on their upkeep, but I think it's better just to do it on my turn. I don't have to discard. This deck, this is still one of the problems with the deck, is it plays a ton of, a lot of two drops. Um, and you just play 17 mountains. You don't have that much to do on turn one. I also just don't really like Faithless Looting. Feels like it's like one mana discard a card a lot of times. I mean, I guess we could hit our land drops with it this game, but... Uh, we're gonna lose this game. We'll be on the play for game three. Maybe there was no reason to risk this hand, but we also like kept a hand and then essentially got maximally unlucky here. Not flashing back dart. Now all they need is like another Hydro, and then they win. But if we draw land next turn and somehow survive, then we might be able to kill. Okay, it's over. Looks pretty bad here, but again, we basically did as poorly as we could, given our opening hand, and never hitting a land.
Conan Straw wasn't even that good. All right, all right, let's just go to the next one. We're just like going into our next turn, hoping to draw a land and then untap, play Kill and Fiend, and then we just super die. We even have Martyr and Candidate. Maybe those were other reasons to mulligan that hand, but I really just don't think it was a mulligan. Man. Why, deck? Why? I think I'm going to keep. Turn one, Swiss Spear. Turn two, Crash Through. Maybe Bolt something. We have Nanomorphos TBR. We can just kill with just a Swift Spear. We can slow them down. Furio, glad you can make the stream. This is fun. Let's get more people in here. Turn one Swift Spear Gaming. We'll see what they do. If they play a Llanowar Elf, they play Island on one, so they have Hydro. Mutagenic. All right, it wasn't a bad draw for not drawing a land. Okay. I could have just left out Blessing. I just didn't think of it at the time, but they definitely had Hydro if they played Island. I should have just left out Blessing. That was actually a huge mistake, because I could have just attacked for one, maybe they take one, and then I just blessing when they hydro end of turn. Punished. Just going to do nothing here. Love hearing people getting into the format because of uh, the channel and Popper is getting more popular these days. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'd even say it's getting popular. All right. So have to let that resolve. I can't, I could kill this with this on the stack, but I just don't think I need to. Okay, this is fine. I'm just going to dart this. End of their turn. See if they hydro. They don't. I could play that out, but then they're just gonna sandbag stuff. They're really going slow. I'm just gonna wait. Wait on I could have manamorphosed there, but I think I like waiting one more turn. Draws have been really bad games two and three. Not going to flashback dart. Definitely not. I think I will play Martyr now, though. Could Manamorphose as well first. But then I don't necessarily have Blessing up. I'm just going to play Martyr Pass. Have another land. Lead the stampede would would be annoying. It's another spider silk. It's good against darts, but it's not good against this. They probably have another hydro with the hand they kept. Kill and fiend. I definitely want to draw another land before I try to play this. Maybe they somehow let it resolve and then try to hydro it later. They could hydro this with this on the stack too. Dart, dart. All right, we'll just play the Kill and now. They probably have another hydro though. I'd be shocked if they do not. Yeah. 
Martyr is still around, though. We can still martyr for four. I only have three cards left. And third Hydro, okay. Can save Blessing for our next thing. Okay, no extra Elf is good because I can bolt this now. Crasher. Kind of want to bolt this, but... I feel like playing Crasher is also decent. I don't really have enough mana to kill quite yet anyway. I'm just going to play it safe. I'm just going to wait another turn. Sure, they were tapped out of blue, but they've already played triple blue blast. Timberwash. I mean, that's annoying, but they only have two elves right now. And if we just draw another land, their last card's fourth Hydro. That's incredible for them. Looks like it is not. Like, lead the Stampede into five elves would be worst case scenario here. Timberwash. Okay. And Mystic. Zero cards left, but they have a plus four, plus four from Timberwatch. See if they use it now. They do. They gotta go for the race because they're, they feel like they're under pressure here. Land? No land, but double mutagenic. So I can go, I can't even go Blessing plus TBR, but not that I really need to. So if I go Mutagenics are plus four, and then TBR is plus two, so it's plus eight, ten. So it's still it's still lethal if they don't block. So I just attack with Crasher, hope they don't block, and then go Mutagenic, Mutagenic, TBR. Oh, and I have Dart, so that is probably lethal regardless. Okay. So I probably have them. They have zero cards. I'll do the math again depending on how they block. Okay, so they have a one, they have three toughness. It's, oh, this should be exactly, they'll just do the math again. So four, eight, 10, 12, 13, double strike. It's like super lethal. Mutagenic. Mutagenic. TBR. are you this deck's pretty impressive felt like our draws were bad opponent drew three hydros and then we just still win that is a really bad matchup for, for them though really really bad 2-0 and oh, let's go round three all right 2-0 and oh, round three we're against chen ju chen jisu i don't know how to say the name sorry let's mull Another one lander. Opponent's on a mole here as well. I think I'm supposed to keep this. Just put back a reckless impulse. I have a crash through to draw another card. I mean, we have 17 land in the deck. We're going to have to keep one landers. The problem is this deck does need two lands to function, as we've seen. But I don't really want to go to five. We're on the draw. Again, we have another draw spell. Okay, playing Hoplite. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why you would. Land? Mutagenic. Not bad in this matchup. Let's just kill this. We have another removal spell if they just like T2 kill and fiend. It's the mirror though. Nice. Let's go.
Or it's some brew, but it got to be the mirror, right? Faithless Looting. Just bad cards in their deck, good cards in our deck. I like our chances. <laughs> this card is just not good. They might just be an older version of the deck. I wonder if they even have Swiss Spear. You have to have Swiss Spear, right? We have a really good turn next turn, potentially. We'll see what the opponent does, then we'll craft our turn. We could potentially just play Reckless Impulse. We could go like first craft through or first bolt. Just really depends on, on what they do. I have no idea really how to sequence yet. All we've seen is Hoplite and Faithless Looting. Just seems like an older version of the deck. I mean, I don't really like this card, but I did think about running one or two copies, and here's why. Because if you have, like, four Faithless Looting, it's just going to be a lot of times, like, one mana, you're drawing two, but then you're discarding two on the flashback. You're drawing two and you're discarding two, but you are actually losing one card overall. So you get to draw four, discard four, but you spent a card to do that. So sure, sure, you get good selection, but if you need every card, including your lands, you're just discarding a card and getting better selection. Yeah, it's definitely the mirror. Um, so the only reason I like one or two is because the best case scenario for looting is when you get flooded and then you loot away extra lands, or you have like extra spells of certain types you don't need, you loot those away and find what you do need, or it helps you function. Like the previous game against elves when we're stuck and we lost because of it, looting does help, uh, you know, save you from those type of games. But I just think it's just not quite there. I'm, again, I'm considering like one or maybe two copies, but I don't think it's that good. All right. So they have two cards in hand. They thought for a while on the looting. Here's the thing. I think it's too risky to go for impulse because if I miss on a land, they just untap with a kill and fiend. If I go bolt kill and fiend and they save it with mutagenic, then they only have one card in hand. So then I'm likely to not die. So I think I start my turn on crash through, and then I bolt kill and fiend, and then I attack. I guess I attack first, and then I just bolt. I, I'm not letting them untap with this. I'm also not going to mutagenic right now, because a lot of people do not play Lightning Bolt, but a lot of people could. Okay, so they, they mutagenic, they save their Kiln Fiend. Nothing we can do. What we can do is hope to not die and then kill them next turn. Save mutagenic in case we find a TBR. I'd rather have the mutagenic for next turn. Plus, I don't necessarily want to take two damage. I just felt it was way too risky to just play Crash or Pass. Okay, this is where Ancestral Anger is good. Two cards in hand. Don't like the uh, grayed out version though. I don't really like the grayed out cards. Nerdy Steve, what's up? For people that don't know Nerdy Steve, uh, go check out their channel. Nerdy Steve is like always at the top of uh, the arena ladder. Always, always top mythic, right? I popped in here or there, but I should uh I should get some more arena gaming in uh, on your channel. All right, Let's see what they're casting here. Dart, target me. Let's 
As long as we don't get lethal here. Flashback dart. One card left, only one mana. Another dart. Is that lethal? 14. Goes up to 15. It's not lethal. Oh. Yeah, it is. They didn't have the, the first trigger. Damn. I think I can do there. The Ancestral Anger. I can't believe we lost that game. Zero cards in hand for the opponent. Double Lava Dart. Not attacking was obviously not a good line. I would have gone rec draw a card, then Reckless Impulse. Hit those two cards. And then I can just go like Dart, Flashback, Dart, Mutagenic. It's really lethal. Damn. That was brutal. It went from one card in hand at the start of that turn to, to lethal. Felt pretty bad. They have Hoplite in their deck though still. Maybe they just play like one or two, but you have to target that card, so... Maybe they just play it over like Festival Crash, or maybe they play Swiss Spear, Hoplite, Kill and Fiend or something, but I don't know. I think Martyr's too slow. I think Cannonade's too slow. I think we just go no sideboard again. No sideboard, no problem. Let's go game two here. All right, game two, after getting that game stolen from us. I'm gonna just keep keeping these one-landers. Whisper Gaming. Gonna play a Hoplite? No, they do have Swiss Spear, okay. Land? Land one time? Nice, let's go. Now I just play Crasher. Sure, they can bolt it, but a lot of times, especially decks that play Ancestral Anger, do not even play Lightning Bolt. So we'll see. I honestly haven't got to play too much since I recorded the last week. I haven't recorded for over a week. I've been out of town visiting family for the fourth. I came back. I've been super busy with work. I haven't played much magic. I played one Pioneer League with Blue Light Control off stream. And I played one league with this deck off stream before I left, actually. Um, so I can't really say yet, but seems like Swiss Spear definitely changed the format a lot. I had like an anti Swiss Spear deck that I was thinking about playing, but not sure it's even good. I think Mono Blue Fey with like six to eight Hydro Blast sideboard is got to be really well positioned, at least in the leagues, because there's so much red that just getting to board in like, yeah, six to eight Hydros, it's just got to be insane. Plus you have Counterspell plus Spell Setter Sprite. Just seems like a really well positioned deck right now, given everybody's Swiss Spear gaming, including me. They really tank on these lootings. They discard Hoplite Land. They have a 4 poor Swiss Spear. Maybe Ancestral Anger is just what you want. Who knows, who knows. Another land, it's actually really good. So, they're topped out. What if I go dart you, flashback dart on you. That's two damage, they'll be at 16. And then I go, each dart is plus three. So that's six. Six, seven, eight. And then rage is another three. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. 
I have a seven power double striker plus this is four power, so it's exaxes. So I think I just win. Let me just double check that. Oh no, I think I have two extra because of the darts. So I play one, two, three spells. This is seven power double strike, that's 14. This is four power, that's 18, 20 damage. All right. A little turn three here, right? The only card they could have to stop us would be Fire Blast, but I'm not playing around it. Then they still have to sack both their lands. I was I like wanted to leave that turn on Reckless Impulse, but then I was like, whoops, squeakle. The play matters so much in this matchup, but at least we have four bolt, four, four dart. And they have hot blood in their deck still, so I like it. Yeah, I just saw that comment from Daniel from Brazil. Uh we're not gonna sideboard, but this is a good time to talk about it. Um it was actually really, really cool what happened. Um Zune, who made the who made the Cogate deck. Uh, they messaged me on Discord randomly. I hadn't really spoken to them before, but I had like I think commented on like some gate deck that was posted, and uh, Zune says, "Hey, don't play the gate deck. I think it's really good. I want to play it in the challenge. I don't want you to play it and give away any tech." And uh, I was like, "I wasn't. I I wasn't planning on playing it. Your secret save with me." And then the next day or two days later, I ended up winning the challenge. So that that was pretty sick. It was like he didn't even know if he they were going to get there, then just ended up winning, and now gates are everywhere. I will say, I did know that Basilisk Gate was pretty busted, because when I was playing that absolutely terrible 5 color Cascade deck, I was like, hmm, Basilisk Gate seems like the best card. People were like, cut gate, it seems really bad. And I was thinking, I want four gate, I just couldn't support it with the mana. But what I didn't figure out is what Zune did, which is just playing like eight actual like of the thriving gates essentially that add mana of any color four basilisk gate and then like one or two more heap gates and then just playing a good deck and untap lands so i knew basilisk gate was busted but i didn't crack it <laughs> all right we gotta keep and all props to zune gates are everywhere right now i'll definitely be playing with some gates soon but i don't own them and they're really expensive i might be able to actually rent them from card hoarder but i don't know if they have them either let's see we're just hot dog gaming for now though hmm. i kind of want to just bolt that instead of playing swiss spear and then go turn two crasher turn three crasher swiss spear or turn three like potentially win I think I should not bolt that because they could just play a Killing Fiend. I'd rather bolt that. And if they just get in for some damage with Swiss Spear, I can just play Crasher next turn and try to win on turn three or something. Well, if they don't have another land, it would have been so much better to kill Swiss Spear. Who knows? It's impossible to, to know, right? If they just hit for three, that's fine. Reckless Impulse. I'm just going to attack for one play Crasher. It's going to be tough for them to threaten a win with just Swiss Spear. It's possible. I don't even know if they if their deck has Team or Battle Rage. It may not. I've seen lists without it. There's Fiend. I feel like they have protection for that too. Don't attack with Suspira, I assume. Oh, they do. I'm going to block, because if they mutagenic, they, have, they could dark Crasher, I guess. But then they're tapped out. They could Then they have to have mutagenic to save Killing Fiend. 
And I can just go Play Crasher plus Bolt, Kill and Fiend. I think I block. It's close. I'm not sure. Oh, that is good. That is good. So what if I go play land, attack with both, and they don't block? I think I could win by going bolt you down to 15, mutagenic, TBR. And if they block, I still kind of blow them out. I think I just go. They block. Interesting. So now I don't really want to bolt the Kiln Fiend. They likely have Mutagenic. So what I can do is I can lead on Mutagenic my Crasher, TBR my Crasher. I guess I can lead on Bolt U, Team or Battle Rage my Crasher, because then I play around Bolt that way. I think I bolt them. I'm playing around, I'm, I'm doing it this way because if I bolt them, then TBR, I get the double strike trample bonus from TBR, and I don't have to use mutagenic yet. And bolting Kiln Fiend seems bad because they are fairly likely to have mutagenic. So I go bolt you. We'll see if I sequence this turn correctly or I get punished. They might go Bolt Crasher and then I go save it with Mutagenic, TBR it. But I don't want to use Mutagenic if I don't have to. If I kill their Kiln Fiend and hit for a bunch of damage, I'm probably just not going to cast Mutagenic. That's why I'm bolting them, then playing TBR and saving Mutagenic to play around Lightning Bolt. Even though I think they're relatively unlikely to have it because I don't think their list plays lightning bolt but I'm still playing around it because since they block I kind of get to kill this kiln fiend anyway by taking this line because I'm going to have double strike trample and playing around bolt apostles blessing the kiln fiend I see that's fine so they prowess they kiln fiend trigger it's actually might make it not lethal now, but they're at 16. I guess I could have saved Bolt to play around like exactly Blessing, because I could have Bolted in response. So maybe I did punt this turn. But I mean, I'm playing around things either way. It just depends what I'm playing around. So they go to 13 here. They're tapped out. I'm just going to go mutagenic TBR, right? There's nothing else to do. So they soak up eight damage, but I think I still have lethal. Oh no, it's only two toughness. Never mind. Okay, nice. Whew. I say GG. GG opponent. Whew. Wonder if I did misplay that turn. I mean, you could say that they're less likely to have bullet and more likely to have blessing. But I was thinking about mutagenic and bolt and not as much blessing. So it's kind of a toss up which way you want to play it. 
Because if I had taken a different line and just like not played around bolt and gone like mutagenic TBR here, and then they go, okay, blessing, and I go bolt it. I think this line was better because I didn't do the math, but if they had blessing, we still had the lethal. So I think this is just a better line. Sweet, 3 0. Beat the semi mirror here. Um, let's go round four. All right. Round four, we're 3 0 with hot dogs. We're against Griffin MTG. They keep seven. We're on the draw. This hand is great. This is probably the best hand we've had all night. Old Border of Spirit, let's go. Mirror again in the 3 0 bracket. Looks like it. Oh, it looks like burn. It looks like burn. I'm going to lead on Spear for sure. I think I just go attack. We're not scared. Not scared. Definitely say Bolt because they, wow, they're just looting with blood right now. Discarding land. Interesting, interesting. So now I have a decision to make. I think it's a pretty easy one. I think I just played Kiln Fiend to attack for one. Then they have to point a burn spell at Kiln Fiend. It's possible that I want to leave Swissier back now. Maybe I should have last turn, but that just seems worse to me. They can also just play a removal spell on it. I'm just going to Kiln Fiend to attack for one. If they don't kill Kiln Fiend. I guess we can probably win next turn. I think I want to just get in the damage. Ricus and incinerate face, not kill and fiend. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I mean, this says the creature can't be regenerated. And then bolt kill and fiend. Skewer the Kiln Fiend. Okay. And they hit for four. We go to ten, but they have two cards in hand. I think I just play Kiln Fiend, hope to not die. I'm going to leave up Bolt. I could just Bolt this right now. It might be safer. Yeah, and then I get to get in for two damage this turn. I think that's the line. I don't want them to just attack and, I don't know, do weird stuff. This is looking pretty good for us now. They need to point another burn spell at Kiln Fiend or kill us. Get two. They have one card, another get two. Okay, looking good, looking good. Now if we just draw land, they're super, super dead, and they might be dead anyway, because we have the TBR. I think they're dead anyway, nice. Just play our spells. Seems like Hot Dogs has a favorable matchup against Burn. Just kind of hard for them to deal with all your stuff. lethal here let's just burn with lava runner epicure swiss spear probably no thermo there's just no possible reason to play this card right there's no reason this card's good like there's just so many better cards than this in burn that cost one mana Yeah. I guess Brute Force would be helpful if we had it. It might actually be a pretty decent sideboard card, um, considering how much burn there is right now, but I think I just go no sideboard again. It probably means my sideboard's pretty bad for the meta. Maybe I should have some Brute Forces. That seems pretty good, actually. I mean, I'm just so often just not sideboarding here. I mean, I guess we're not playing against blue decks. I have two pyro or three Pyroblasts. I have six Affinity Hate cards. 
maybe just affinity the numbers are way down this is way too much hate but i mean affinity still is one of the better decks if not the best deck so not sure we'll run it back no sideboard though be so funny to bring in smash to the smash to smithereens and smash their blood token just snap keep this sneep smithsphere gaming all day huh I should just play like a mono blue eight hydro blast deck or something. I mean, probably go like four one. <laughs> mono blue aggro, like mono blue fey pre sideboarded against red. That would be sick. Okay, they have a really aggressive start. Sisphere is so good with these type of draws. But they need a turn three win, otherwise we're probably gonna have a turn three win. I mean, that's a turn three win if I ever saw one. Land Searing Blaze would be like worst case scenario. Survive one time. Shane Lightning targeting us, uh oh. Bolt us, fire blast us. Oh no. Oh, and then kill up Crasher. Uh oh. Rift Bolt. They have zero cards. We go to four, so we're not dead to that Rift Bolt also. If we draw a Lava Dart plus land, is it lethal? Ooh, that was good. That was good, because now we can kill this. All right, let's start with Morphos. Red, red. Land, okay, okay. Can we kill? Maybe. I haven't done the math. Morphos. Red, red. Crash through. So if I bolt you down to 15, I have four power. And then I have TBR, I have five power. It's only... 10 damage, putting them to five. So not close to lethal. So they have a Rift Bolt on top. If they draw a Burn Spell, we die no matter what. I might as well just cast Reckless Impulse right now. And then I can still just bolt their Swift Spear. And I should attack. Not playing around another Swiss Spear or Lava Runner, I don't think. I just need to hope they draw a land. Most of their deck killed me, though. Just thinking if there's anything else I can do. I don't think that there is. Mutagenic Growth. Not a very good one right here. So we're going to one and they have to draw a land for us to survive. They did not. Okay. Good game, good game. All right, just jam. We're on the play. Let's do it. Let's go game three. All right, would you like to play first? Yes. Going to six. Going to five. They kept seven. Uh-oh. Keep. Let's put back TBR plus land, I think. This is not bad for a five. If they play a one drop, I'm just gonna bolt it. Okay. Hopefully no mutagenic. Okay. Dart, that's a great draw. 
Probably can't turn three this, but we could maybe turn four with double crasher. Searing blaze, not ideal. Shouldn't have F6'd, but they probably would have gone for it anyway. Oh, God. That is bad. Mulligan to five, no protection. It's going to be rough. I think we're going down here. 5 0 Dream might die. We need them to be flooded, basically. They have Reckless Impulse. Jeez. So I think I need to dart, flashback dart on this. They have double Fire Blast here. GG's. Got wreck. Oh, did Griffin just say something? I can't go back to the chat. Not sure. I think they said they were live or something. Anyways, let's go round uh, five, try to four one this. All right. After getting bested there by Burren, we're against Bellina 9-1-1. Opponent is on the play and chooses to mulligan to six cards. His hand looks really nice. This is the first time we've had double Sisker. A Nikod 45. Thanks for the sub. Cool. Let's uh let's do this. Let's get the 4-1 here. Got bested by Burn. I still just don't understand the incinerates, but got us. Swamp. This is sick. I have never had the triple swift beer draw yet. It's cycle storm. It is. All right, the Wraith is on. I'm probably just going to go two more Swiss Spears plus Mutagenic next turn to deal as much damage as possible so they can cycle less. Oh my god, this hand. Oh my god. I just want to get in as much damage now so they can't like Street Wraith as much. <laughs> this draw is nuts. Yeah, I was thinking about Riverboat too with the Incinerates. All right. Just a casual hit for 13 on turn two. Put them to six. Just have Lethal turn three with a Reckless Impulse. They go to four. They can only cycle one more Street Wraith. <laughs> That was sick. Sick. There's no way. They have to go off right now. They go to two. They cannot cycle any more Street Wraiths. That's going to be tough. Turn three, go off without being able to rebuy and recycle Street Wraiths. That's going to be impressive if they can do it. I just think there's no way. They're going for it. They have five mana. Pedal. Just gonna F6. Again, no more street rates for them. They have Storm 3 right now. Reaping for 4. Get back Stinger, Healer, Healer, Street Wraith, which they cannot cycle. They can cast Street Wraith, but they're at 2. They have blue and 4 black mana. If only we were on the play here. I guess we wouldn't have had this on turn two, but. Oh, ploy gain life. They've discarded, they gained four here or three.
but they gained six. That might do it. Just go Reckless Impulse. Mutagenic. <laughs> what a turn three. That was the nut. Yeah, Cycle Storm in, in the Burn Hot Dogs meta. I don't know about that. Um, I'm going to look up, I don't know if Bolina has necessarily like 5-0'd with Cycle Storm recently. I know I've played against Bolina, they're a strong opponent. Um, I'm going to see if they have any recent results with Cycle Storm. Looks like they only have one list posted in total. Maybe they're a newer player and they just have a, just a wall combo list posted. I'm not gonna just look up a random cycle storm deck. I know the list. I'm just wondering if they have darkness or not, and if I should bring in flaring pain. The good thing about flaring pain is that it can be cast and flashback just for double triggers, worst case scenario. I also don't think that they're gonna have removal. So I could do something like well, I could also bring in pyroblasts. Hmm. They they have blue mana, so they have Scob, so I could bring in Pyroblast for that. They could also be bringing in Hydroblasts. So I could play around Darkness with Flaring Pain. Again, this is two mana cast a spell, one mana flashback a spell, which is probably better than these. Reckless Impulse is pretty slow, but it's probably better than another Pyro. This is probably fine, just like this. I'm leaving Bolts and Darts just to go face. The thing is, Blessing also protects from Hydro, though. And other stuff, and can give my stuff unblockable, but countering a Scob could just totally mess up their combo turn. So there's that. Should probably just side out blessing. I'm just gonna try it like this. It might be worse than not sideboarding, honestly, but if they bring in darkness, then flaring pain gets really good. Sounds pretty bad. I think I could consider just mulliganing it in this matchup. I'm going to. I really wanted to see Kiln Fiend and Swift Spear. Yeah, I'm going to keep. This looks a lot better. I think you can just get rid of this Reckless Impulse. I want to keep both Kiln Fiends in case they kill one, then I'll have a backup. This is definitely better than our seven, though, especially since we just drew that land. See if they're on the Exhum uh, list. Oh, Mr. Bodingles, what's up? Glad you could make the stream. For anyone that doesn't know Bodingles, uh, they're a, he's like a pioneer streamer. Mostly pioneer, right? I just played him last, was it last night when I was playing Blue White? I actually really like a uh, Bodingles stream though, so go check him out. This is looking good. Yeah, I, 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 I did. Uh, I did do pretty well there, Bodingles. <laughs> it was like a dream matchup for me, though, so. <laughs> we might just be dead here. Opponent probably feels like they have to go for it or they're going to die to this kill fiend, though, so. If they fizzle, I've seen that deck fizzle from, I've seen that deck draw its entire deck and fizzle, so it can still fizzle for sure from where they're at. They only have one mana floating right now, and maybe they need a Songs of the Damned here. 
I only have loaded pedal for mana. I don't have anything. Okay. Land is good. Land is good. Speed on Morphos. Into Crash Through. Crash Through. One, it'd be kind of crazy if they had the darkness here. Dart. Well, Dart is great. Can just play another Crash Through before the Dart? Might as well. Could draw a Mutagenic. I'm just going all in here. I can just kill. This should be lethal. Don't need to flashback Dart. I mean, this deck just goldfishes turn three so consistently. Darkness? They do have it. Okay. I mean, we brought in the Flaring Pains. Nothing else we can do. They still need to go off, which looks like they're not doing. Okay. Still had to make them have it, you know? They're at 17. So I'll just play out. Two more things, kill next turn. I need Songs of the Damned still. I had to represent Lethal or they wouldn't song or they wouldn't darkness, so I don't regret my play at all. Cabal Ritual, Cycle Healer, Cycle Healer, nothing? Oh my god. I don't have another spell, so is this lethal? No, it's not. <laughs> I was like doing the map as I was attacking. I was like, I think I'm short. Oh no, not like this. They still can't cycle street rate though. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. Nice. Got the 4 1. Deck honestly felt fantastic. Ancestral Anger does seem strong. I could consider just playing Ancestral Anger over Reckless Impulse or cutting down the number of Reckless Impulse, playing like one Faithless Looting, three Impulse. I think that wouldn't be bad. That might help us function, but honestly, I think I would just jam again. Deck felt great. I mean, we 4 1 barely losing to burn. We were able to navigate and beat like all the semi mirrors slash burn mirrors. Yeah, deck just felt really, really strong. So uh, I think, oh, maybe we do, maybe we do want to change uh, the sideboard. I mean, of course, we're probably going to take out some affinity hate and then just immediately run into affinity. So there's that. Is it, is it Brute Strength? What's that card? There is a card called Brute Strength, but that's not the card I'm looking for. What's that? What's that one red plus three plus three? Is it Giant Strength? Oh, maybe I just don't own it. I probably don't own it. Because who would ever put a one mana plus three plus three? Somebody tell me that card. Oh, brute force, brute force. I think we want a lot of brute forces actually because burn is so popular right now. I literally couldn't think of a good card against burn, but brute force probably is it. Seems great. Martyr is just really slow. It is strong though. Pyroblast is good. It's really nice to have two flaring pain, especially especially if you get paired up against like the prismatic strands decks. Could just be two brute force. I think golden urn is just not that great, right? It's just so slow. I have played it before when when I'm desperate, but. I think it's just not a not a great card. 
three smash, one got Gorilla Shaman still is decent. Don't really want to cut anything else. Martyr honestly just seems bad. We could just go three cannonade, zero martyr. Every time I have this card, I'm just like, well, it just seems kind of worse than cannonade. I'm gonna do that. Zero martyr, three cannonade. Cut these two. Play the brute forces that I don't own. Yeah, I think I think this looks good. Brute force just for burn and the mirror uh, seems solid. So I think that's the only changes. I still like Reckless Impulse. It still should help you function, assuming you have two lands, and it helps you grind. So I like it for both those reasons. That'll wrap up this YouTube video. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Again, youtube.com slash Go sub to the channel. Uh, really appreciate it. Until next time, peace.